good evening and welcome to our Christmas Eve worship service here at Clear Lake United Methodist Church. Again, it's good to be with you via virtual technology as we still cannot be gathering in person here in this holy sanctuary. And again, the original plan was to be gathering outside in person, but due to the extreme wind chills, we made the decision to move things inside so that you can stay warm and safe in your homes or wherever you are gathered. So as we come on this Christmas Eve, we come celebrating and remembering that night some 2,000 years ago when a babe was born. Born in the stuff of a manger. Born in not a five-star hotel or hospital room, but in a humble, simple, messy place. Yet our babe was born as the light. As the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness flees as the light grows in power and beauty. We light this Christ candle tonight to shine forth Christ's light into the world. Let us join in singing together the first verse of O Come All Ye Faithful, followed by Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and then Away in the Manger. We will be singing the first verse of each of these songs. Let us unite our voices together.
light of the world, shine upon us this night. Shine in our lives that we may shine with your love. Shine in our world that your light may overcome all darkness and fear. Shine through our worship that our souls may be strengthened with the power of your light and love. In the name of love we pray. Amen. As an introduction to our gospel reading this evening, let us sing the first verse of O Little Town of Bethlehem. to us from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter, verses 1 through 20. Words that are powerful for us. Words that continue to tell the story of the birth of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Listen to God's holy word it may truly, truly speak to you. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, 
which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Would you please pray with me? Praise Holy God, I pray that in this time and in this place, that the words of my mouth and that the meditations of all of our hearts would be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Well, as we gather here tonight, we gather in a different way, as we cannot gather in person here in our sanctuary. We are, we are, however, gathering virtually in our homes with one another, with one another connected, connected by the Holy Spirit. That same, that same Holy Spirit that has been with us from the beginning. And as we gather tonight, we are, we are experiencing yet again that light and that love that came down and continues to come down at Christmas. That light that illuminates our path as we celebrate, yes, as we celebrate Christmas. And as we remember, as we remember the legends, the stories, and the scriptures that define this sacred season. Yes, my friends, light shines down from a star, illuminating, illuminating the babe who is, who is the light of the world. Just think about what took place this past Monday night on the 21st. And remember some 2,000 years ago when these shepherds were guided by a light. And even after that, when the Magi were guided by the light and came from the east to come and see this babe, this child, the Lord, the Messiah, the King of Kings, and the Prince of Peace. And so how gracious and glorious it was this past Monday evening for us to see the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and forming in our westernmost sky a vision, a vision that was so symbolic and is so symbolic and reminds us of that star so many years ago, a light, a light in the sky shining down on us, illuminating us, just as that star illuminated Jesus for the shepherds and all who gathered. A light that brought with us, with it, the love for each and every one of us. You see, my friends, love flows through Mother Mary's treasured memories and through the father's willingness to protect a child who is so much more than just his own progeny. Yes, love has defined this child's purpose in our world for thousands of years. A love, a love barely grasped on that night of nights. So as we gather in our homes, this evening, in the days to come, 
we gather again, looking to the light. We gather again, loving one another. Yes, our families that may be lucky enough to gather with us in person, but also our families who may be separated by distance, but yet through technology, whether it's through this virtual service or when we gather with our families through FaceTime or Zoom or some other means, that same Holy Spirit that connects us, continues to connect us. And may we, as we go through living our lives, shine that light and share that love. Not just on Christmas, but each and every day. Because God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son so that those who love him shall have eternal life. His son, the light of love, that we share. Yes, we celebrate his birth. We celebrate the unconditional love that comes from the one who created us, even though we don't deserve it. But let us remember, celebrate, cherish, and embrace that light and that love each and every day that we live for each day is a gift let us never take that for granted again let us remember god's light and god's love in and through jesus the christ and through the power of the holy spirit let us, as we live out our lives, be the light that illuminates, that illuminates the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus the Christ. That illuminates the path until Christ comes again in final victory. Yes, my friends, that's what we celebrate, that's what we worship, and that's why we serve in this God's created world. To be that light and that love in the darkness and in the muck and the mire. Again, I can't say this enough. Let us truly be the light and love that comes through Jesus the Christ, the babe, the Messiah, the King of Kings and the Prince of Peace. Thanks be to God, and amen. Even though we can't gather in person, again, we gather through virtual technology. We can't come together tonight and embrace one another. We can't personally come into this sanctuary and offer up our gifts of our prayers, our presence, our service, our witness. But yet we can come in different ways. As sages once brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we are invited to bring our gifts to the Christ child. Our gifts may not be shiny or big, for any gift lovingly given becomes a gift of light and love for the world. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for your continued support. As the mission and the ministry of this church and of God's church continues, let us give of ourselves in all ways. Again, as the light and love of Jesus, the Christ for the world. You please join with me in our offering prayer. With these gifts, O oh God, bring light to your people and love to the earth. With our lives, shine light into the deepest shadows and help us to share your love where it is needed most. 
In your loving name we pray. Amen. We share the light of Christ as we take it out into the world. Let us join together in singing the first verse of Silent Night.